Okay, I'm more or less done with this power bank, 12 volt power bank with uh, 12 cells. And I decided not to bother with the low voltage alarm because uh, with the alarm you actually you have to physically press a button to check to see if the battery is okay or not and um, it has a buzzer if it goes to 9 volt or so but it doesn't really cut off the the uh, current so that doesn't really do anything um, what I did instead was just install a voltmeter and if I want to check the voltage at any time I just have to you know press a button here right I think this voltmeter is reading slightly high my multimeter only reads like 12.58 or something so I think that's all I need and the there are two outputs here one is lower current and that's protected by the BMS here it has overcurrent and uh, low voltage discharge protection so it will cut off uh, if it is out of specs the high current output here these last two output it can handle at least 10 amps uh, because the wiring is thick enough and I just put a 5 amp or actually 10 amp fuse here so I can connect a small inverter and if you use a DC to AC inverter it would have a uh, low voltage cutoff anyway sometimes they set it like 11 volts or 10.5 volt um, well above the the bottom limit of the uh, lithium ion batteries uh, for three cells uh, about nine volts so yeah and you can always just check the voltage there's a momentary switch here I just cut that off from another piece of equipment with a circuit board here and uh, there's of course the balance charge cable here yeah. nothing smoking and this is the balancing 4.131312 so that seems to be okay so this is how I figure out the uh, leads you have three cells here that's what I have here uh, 4.2 for the first cell and then if you put your leads here positive and negative here you would get 8.4 if you put from here to here you get 12.6 so that's how you know that you have set it up correctly so that's what I have uh, from here to here all of the cells 12.44 that's what being charged now so it's 12.44 if you want to know the first cell 4.13 and then the second cell 4.14 and then the third cell 4.14 so now it has balanced charge it has a uh, BMS at least for the low current and um, voltmeter fuse I think that's all I need and this is uh, 98 watts I think 8.8 .8 amps and they're pretty much uh, like 12.6 volt 4.2 volts per cell so it should work okay all right and of course this is in the original case so I don't have to build a separate case for it
So this didn't work. Although a lot of people they try to figure out what the pinouts are. And turns out when you take this out, you can see at the bottom of the contacts there. Two positive on the left, two po two negatives on the right, and then you have the data pin, the clock, the ID. So that's what all these are. Um, yeah, so before this can work, you have to activate it, this BMS. The voltage would read 12 point something volt at both ends, and to activate it, you have to plug in a charger for a few seconds, then this will be activated to read the voltage of the actual battery.